how wonderful, how wonderful it is to acknowledge the love of God for us. When we understand that the verbs made flesh, when we understand that uh, the Creator loves us so much that uh, without judgments we receive uh, exactly um, the deep meaning of our emotions and our thoughts, that uh, as, as much as we are grateful for the smallest things, uh, they multiply. I mean, um, I've been experimenting, I've been doing a, 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 a try, and uh, I invite you to do the same. So it was a very small thing. I decided all of a sudden, uh, it was in Paris, in France, and uh, as I saw one of my great friends looking for parking his car, and turning and turning in circle and complaining that he never f find any place. Uh, I was like, uh, but why do you think that way? And it helped me to decide the contrary. And at that moment, uh, I decided in my uh, heart and spirit, I say, okay, since now I'm always going to find a, a parking exactly where I have to go. And I can park my car exactly in front of where I'm going. And guess what? It happened. How amazing. So then step by step, I made another experiment after being complaining and uh, anger and things and things about people and la la la. I say, why did you think that way? I asked myself, are you so perfect that you can Allow yourself to, to judge others. This is ridiculous. Everybody does his best. And uh, hey, people are amazing. Everybody so kind and so gentle. And I really focus on that. And uh, I tell you sincerely, at that moment, everything starts to change in my life. And I really start to meet amazing people, really, really kind and uh, welcoming, heartfelt people. And everything changed. And I had heard a, a lot of friends around that were complaining like I did before, blah, 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 blah. Uh, people are rude, or people this and people that. And we are all people. And uh, I was like, uh, why don't you try to make a change? Why don't you just focus on the amazing people you got around, who you got? They say, yes, of course. And they say, so let's just only look at them. And uh, for those who are not so kind, maybe they're tired or maybe they got uh, things to solve or whatever it is. Sometimes we are agitated and, you know. So how wonderful it is just to really catch that idea that whatever we focus on, God give us exactly the same. God give us exactly the deep meaning of our understanding, uh, the, the deep uh, wish fulfilled. Because in the Creator's eyes, there is no judgments. In the Creator's eyes, there is no separation, no... Um, no division there is only pure love so there is no difference at the moment you think something and the moment you complain something the universe that is not judgmental can say okay that's what you focus on so here it is you know so for instance, I, I, I get another friend, he, he say he always complain about some, uh, the way he drives too fast and he doesn't respect so much things. 
So, of course, all the time it's checked by the police and things, and they complain about it all the time. So, guess what? He got a lot of things, he got a lot of bills to pay with the police because they catch him all the time. He, he go, he, he drive too fast, you know. I got another example. I got a friend of mine, she had policemen. So, why? Why, really? Policemen are very kind in France, by the way. They are really, really cool most of the time. Very, very friendly and very supporting. So, me, I got a lot of friends over there. So, I'm really kind to them. And they are really super cool to me. And even uh, sometime, you know, uh, I go a little bit two speed, but not two speed, a very small two speed. So one day I was in Paris, it was hot in the summer and I was driving in the bus area and I didn't put my seatbelt for, I was too hot and it was a small way. And the policeman catch me and I was like, ooh. Then we start to talk very friendly and I was like apologizing and uh, very respectfully. And, and the talk finished like, Oh, I like very much your cab, it's fantastic. Have a great day, ma. So you see, that's a big difference. And um, by the way, with that girl, she doesn't like policemen. <laughs> she likes a lot of champagne. So she invited me to a party to a friend of her. And uh, she said, you drink? Are you going to drink? I said, no, I ain't going to drink. So she said, you're going to drive. And I was like, oh, yes, I'm going to drive. Because she got a Porsche. So it was super cool. She got a beautiful um, last model of Porsche. And uh, so we went to the party. She was totally drunk. And me, I had only water and juice and things. So I drive, of course. And we were on the country roads. And then uh, in the middle of nowhere, really in the middle of the world, nowhere, like one hour from Paris in Bourgogne, uh, we saw all of a sudden six policemen in the street in, on the road. And I was like, oh, really? Yeah. So they just uh, do a sign to us to stop the car. And it was like, uh, whoa. And that day I forgot my paper. That is very rare because she took me all of a sudden to the party. And I was like, who going to talk to them? And she was like, uh, uh, I'm totally drunk, I can't. And I was like, okay, I'm going to talk to them. And guess what? The policeman I, I was like uh, wondering and they said, no, no, never mind. We just wanted to warn you because we, there is a, like a walking man on this area. So here there is kind of hole. We are building the roads. So we just want to warn you and take you safe. And she was voiceless because the day before, uh, like a month before, she was drunk and she was catch on the road and uh, they took her car away and they said, Mom, you're going to go back. Take a cab driver, but we keep the car and that's it. You ain't going to be able to drive anymore. She became really furious. So at that moment, I wish to tell her, well, forgive them and pray for them. Everything is going to be okay. That's the way it is. So it's, there are funny few examples like that. that whatever you focus on, um, I mean, uh, we, we all need cash to pay the bills, right? So if you say, okay, I'm going to pay them, maybe maybe take a little while, but uh, I'm happy I can pay them. So you always be able to pay them. If you complain, you always, you're going to create like a kind of uh, a frog, you know? And uh, that frog make her like perturbance or something and, and put you in trouble. So just say, oh, thank you, God, for uh, since now, that's that's a good thing. You will you t yourself to say, okay, since now, and whatever you want to be. Since now, for instance, since now uh, it's okay. Uh, I can pay, pay my all my bills easily, or since now, uh, whatever you want. Uh, my husband and I, we were always so sweet and loving to each other. It's a permanent harmony, and that's the way it is, I tell you. 
Don't ever focus on what you don't want. We all got small defaults or bigger defaults. But defaults uh, are the other side of qualities, right? So it, it is uh, just a little work to check what is not going with compassion in, in our way of thinking. What we block somewhere and uh, by my side, I, I, I'm going to tell you, uh, I was uh, raised like a perfectionist. And uh, I love perfection. And also my daddy was always cheating me and um, had me to go to the higher level like a horse, you know. Oh, you did that? Mm, I'm going to put it higher and jump over it. And uh, also, he used to tell me the contrary all the time, to play the negative stuff, just to see how I react. So it didn't make it so well for I really, I, I really, as a perfectionist, I was like, everything is perfect, but there is that small thing that bothered me. And uh, I used to keep uh, negative because uh, instead of saying, oh, thank you, everything is so perfect. I was like, not see what is all perfect, but just take a look, very focusing deeply on what is not going well. And uh, it makes all that going well kind of uh, uh, get out of your sight, you know. And uh, all of a sudden I say, hey, but that's just that's where you are acting. Is that your fault? I say, yes, truly. So I decided really to say, okay, I'm going to make the shift from the negative to positive. And I say, and then you affirm, since now, I'm going to focus on everything is amazing in my life. And thank you, God, there are so many amazing things in my life. Because step by step, I admit that people are so kind and so helpful. So they have really become helpful and kind. All of a sudden, if some, somebody's not cool, it can happen. Somebody can be tired or I don't know what it, whatever. So say, okay, you tried to do your best and you didn't make it that time. So, okay, peace and light, guy. That's okay. And really, really, really do a big effort to take away that from, from your, your, your brain. And then immediately go and catch, really, that's the, that's the, the trick of the happy thoughts. You know, in Peter Pan. Ho, ho, quick, quick, a happy thought. A happy thinking. And uh, happy thinking make you feel emotionally comfortable. And uh, as you feel emotionally happy, then uh, you feel safe and you feel love and then uh, uh, you make the shifts. So, my little darlings, since now, we're going to do that effort. We're going to just, just, just say, okay, since now, I focus only on what is beautiful in my life and I'm going to be grateful for what is not and changing it in a positive way. I mean, like, um, well, let's talk about age, for instance. So I say, okay, age is going and going and going. So you can say, every day I go more healthy. Every day I am younger and younger. Since now, I accept that my body is, is eternally made etern for eternity. That's God's say, by the way. God told us that. And uh, I invite you to to really catch that idea because uh, joy, deep joy, inner joy, start within us. And we have to do that little effort that bring us back to peace and watch out. To put your nose on media, put your ears on music, the kind of music you like, classical, pop, rock and roll, whatever it is. And uh, take a big, big tree, breathing. Breathe. And let go. And then 
breathe again love and light, happiness, and send to the universe love and grateful, and think with me to that effort, well, as much as you can, like two times a day, three times a day, think about it. Take four, five, six, seven, eight big, deep, reconforting, breathing. Close your eyes and take time to visualize your ideal paradise where animals come to you, licking your hands, where you are enchanted of the beauty of nature. Make your own dream like on a screen of uh, amazing movie, you know? Do your amazing movie. Spend time before sleeping or when you wake to put on your inner screen your dream. And I tell you, it can take time sometimes at the beginning when you start to change attitude. It can take a little while. It can take like two years or maybe four years. But I tell you the truth. Whatever we focus on, we're going to get it. So why don't we look at ourselves peaceful, happy, compassionate, forgiving, for we all do errors. And I am very happy when my friend come to me and say, I apologize, I did that to you. I say, me too, I apologize for I was mad after you. And we hug back again. And that's the marvelous miracle of reconciliation and forgiving that Jesus Christ himself gave to us on the cross. I mean, he really decided to carry our cross and to say whatever it is, carry your cross and follow me. For me, I know the way. I am the way. I am the light. I am the light. I am pure love and I know where we have to go. So follow me. Come, forget that. Don't put your too much energy on, on being sad and complaining about the past. Past is gone. You know, we can be last March or last June. We can only be right here, right now on the 10th of December and soon it is Christmas, you know. So really... Yeah, there is something I like to do a lot. If there is someone where is, we didn't understand each other, or so, there is a misunderstanding somewhere, I don't know. So I go back to the person and I say, mm, I give you my part of apology for there is something, there is blocks of somewhere. And you know I love you so much, so please forgive me. And maybe you give me your part of apology. And I swear to you, my babies, it always works. Always. Because you can we, nobody can have an enemy with somebody unknown. You know? So let's make the walk together on a beautiful road. And uh, let's take more time to love. Because when we are angry and in bitterness states, we can't love. So a day without love is a day lost. And a day without loving is pretty sad. Don't you think so? So really, uh, take a bit smile at me and I smile at you. And uh, I send you much, much love and blessings and let's support each other. Humanity is beautiful. We all awake step by step, one person at a time. And there are a lot of people wonderful who do. They are like princes and princesses. They are amazing people, so generous. And they don't show up, you know. They, they send uh, cash to, to foundation or people, or they feed people in the street, or, you know, we can make it. My big human family, I love you lots.